Hello everybody. Um, I, this is the same setup with the coils as before. But I have uh, all my condensers in parallel now. Uh, there are 23 of them. To reduce the frequency at which I have resonance. Then I have this uh, rectifier uh, in parallel. Uh, which is uh, charging the battery uh, through this resistor. Okay, the scope is across the resistor. Uh, this is the battery, and uh, this is uh, across the coil. Okay, now I'm in resonance, or I was. Uh, let's see. There is a slight drag on the wheel when I'm connecting the, the capacitor. So now I remove the capacitor so we don't have resonance and the wheel is speeding up. And now I put the, the capacitor on again uh, and uh, you can see the voltage. Okay, now let's connect uh, the bridge rectifier in parallel and see what happens uh, to the battery. Like that. Okay, and here you can see the, the, the current, and you can see the voltage across the battery is uh, is rising. Okay, and uh, when I put the battery, uh, when I start charging the battery, uh, the drag is less uh, on the wheel. So now we are accelerating so I have to slow it down a bit like here the the resonant frequency is uh, theoretically um, 94 Hertz but uh, in practice it's it turned out to be 90 Hertz okay so I have to slow it again and now I'm disconnecting the charging of the battery and uh, there is more drag on the wheel again and uh, it doesn't accelerate uh, it's actually slowing down okay now uh, previously when I charged the battery it was uh, beneficial to connect the bridge rectifier uh, in the series with the, the coil and the capacitor this was in parallel, and now I will show you what happens when I do it in series in this setup. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay, let's see. Like that. Okay. So, now we are supposed to charge the battery, but as you can see, there is nothing here uh, in this particular setup. And of course, the the battery which is this again this one up here is not rising uh, the wheel is uh, spinning up it's accelerating and uh, yeah that's it let's see if I've done it properly yes I have so there you have it in this particular setup putting the charging in series is uh, a no-no now I'll put the capacitor back no, the charging and the capacitor back on like that okay now we're back in parallel mode and uh, the wheel is accelerating so I have to slow it down to get uh, get to resonance again and it doesn't seem like the the amplitude here that is the the current is um, changing much uh, if I'm spot on resonance or not uh, it seems so well there you have it in this particular setup putting the charging of the battery in parallel is far much better than put it in series with a resonant tank okay thanks for watching